Jason. I've been coming to Saratoga for more than 40 years, photographing the racing and uh, the morning workouts. Uh, this is my favorite time of the day here. About 20 years ago, I authored a book, Saratoga, an equine tradition. Uh, I shoot uh, now for a, a different publications. Today it's for Saratoga Living, their website. Uh, but I love it up here in the mornings. I love the people, I love the light, and of course the horses. And you know, what's the, what's the best shot you ever took back here? Uh, that's, a, that's a tough call. I, I, I'd have to say one of the ones with the morning mist and the fog and the sun burning it off and the horses come running through it. Yeah. Uh, almost, almost got that this morning. That's a magic picture. That's beautiful light. I've had that a few times up here, and I love that. The, the whole look and feel. Clubhouse spires in the background. I think every photographer comes up in the morning, looks for that, and, and sometimes you're lucky enough to get it. And you know, like, what made this track so special, or just the backside in, 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 in general? Well, I think there's, there's two or three things. First of all, uh, they've preserved what's been here for a very long time, and you can't replicate that. That's, that's just the way it is and certain spots back here early in the morning you'll walk around behind a barn and you stop for a minute and say this is probably the same way it looked 100 years ago uh, but the trees I think are the big thing the trees give it uh, uh, just atmosphere uh, the trainers tell me the horses love it here because it's cooler particularly in the evening well the trees play a big role in that horses train better they run better when they get up here because of the cooler evenings the trees can't 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 put them up overnight. They take 75 years to grow. It's just I don't think it's like anywhere else. Yeah. And you can't, as I say, you can't just build it. Yeah, yeah. You can build uh, things like in Vegas or yeah. Disney World, but you can't build trees. They just take 75, 100 years to grow. Yeah. Who's the best jockey you ever seen ride a horse? Oh, <laughs> well, I was here throughout the Angel Cordero era, and he was the best up here for probably 10 years in a row. He did he did very well up here. So personally. Uh, I probably would have to say Cordero. The name of this program is the real players inside the backstretch. You said you've been coming here over 40 years, right? How important is the men and women that do this job every day, man? Throughout the years as you walk around and, oh, and what you is, notice. That's part of what I love about the morning. I told you I love the light and the atmosphere for the people. In the afternoon, it's all about wagering. In the morning, it's all about taking care of the horses. And the people that take care of them, I mean, that's, that's what keeps this whole thing going. Um, and it's amazing. And people who question about whether you should be right racing, they need to see how well cared for these animals are and the love that you see here in the morning. Uh, the grooms, the hot walkers, the exercise riders, uh, they, they love these animals and they take great care of them. And it's, uh, it's kind of a beautiful thing to see. And that's part of what I love about the mornings. Less about the wagering, more about the horses. And you know, they say love make the horse run faster. I would, I would, I would believe that. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't doubt sure. that. I think it's true. And you know, right, throughout the years, right, trainers, like who's some of your favorite trainers? Oh, there have been a lot of them. I guess one of my favorites, I, I made a really nice portrait, was Woody Stevens. I, I loved Woody. He was uh, a gentleman, a gentleman and, uh, and very good at what he did. But there's a lot of great trainers. I mean, I, it's, I don't, don't, don't pin me down that way. I'll mention Woody. Woody's no longer around. That's a safe one. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, it's no right or wrong answer because, you know, everybody is my favorite for the most part. But you <laughs> well, know, that's, that's just it. Yeah. You know, but sometimes we like to kind of, you know, we might have had a different encounter with somebody. Like a lot of people say, Alan Jerkins. He was a great gentleman, also. He used to have a stable just down a little farther back. You know, he was a, he was also a great gentleman. And you know, so you know, you can't. It's hard not to pick either or. Oh, or, absolutely. And, I think know. the people that have respect for the tradition and the history and love what they're doing. That, that combination is what works for me. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, and especially here, because yeah. tradition and history is so important here. Mary Lou Whitney. Well, Mary Lou saved the city. Yeah, yeah. She and her husband, they, 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 they invested heavily in Saratoga Springs and really uh, helped make the city what it is and, and make them, well, uh, John Hendrickson, her, her, her husband, has been very involved in improving the, the lot in life for the backstretch workers, yeah. uh, which is great. I yeah, think yeah. that's terrific. No, the, the Whitney's have been great supporters of thoroughbred racing in Saratoga, both for ever. And you know, I'm coming up. We we got something that we're trying to put together, and I'm trying to get the right people involved to help us achieve this goal. And we want to raise a million dollars, and we want to give away five thousand to two hundred people that work on the backstretch. Mm -hmm. And we want to do it in real time, so we want to raise the money. 
and not stick it in a foundation. We want to actually well, hand I it out it. to the people. If they had picked the right numbers last night, I don't know how they missed. Yeah, yeah. I would have have the money to give you today, but yeah, yeah. didn't win the Mega Millions. Yeah. So I'll keep working. Absolutely. But what do <laughs> you think about uh, something like that? Oh, I think that's wonderful. These, yeah. these folks work hard. They're up at 4 in the morning. They work hard. And uh, they're probably generally underappreciated. And, you know, it was, a, it was a pleasure talking to you this morning. And thank you. Thank you that you gave me a little of your time. Well, it was nice talking with you. You're in a great place. Have a great day.